taking this. Welcome to the world premiere of Tech in Motion. Take in motion. Welcome to the world premiere of Tech in Motion, your Woo! entertainment show for the future in the Caribbean, yeah. that is. I am your host, Mustafa Felician. This is my beautiful co-host. Shakira Roberts. Definitely. And back there is our tech guru. Don't mind him. Curly, everybody. Yeah. Curly. And Roby. And Roby. You can't yeah, forget Roby. You can't forget Roby. What's, what's up there? What are you saying? What's up there? Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Funny like that, you know, <laughs> tech guys. Yeah. Okay, today's show is jam packed for you guys. I'm going to review a K KVM switch from IOGE. That's um, something I think we all need. Merge two computers together, you know, oh. one screen. I'm looking forward to seeing yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to eliminate yeah. that extra keyboard and the extra mouse. We're going to jam pack everything in one. I am going to be talking about the Plasma Ball. I know it's not the latest gadget or gizmo, but I'm going to be talking about it. How does it work? What's inside yeah, of it? That's a cool ball of the Yeah, ah, I'm going to talk about that. What is inside of it? What's it? Wasn't it? You know? know? How does it work? What does it actually do? I don't know. I'm going to tell you that. Got any um, interesting websites? And yes, I do yeah. have two websites. I'm going to talk about websites. IMBD and the smoking gun. So stay, stay, stay tuned. And Cody's going to tell us all the reasons why we shouldn't just pull our thumb drives out of our computer, as mm. well as how to maintain them. I always do that. Yeah, me too. Definitely yeah, a culprit. Bad. And we're going to do a review on Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with that title. I guess Cody, yeah. Cody's like the gamer. The person's all interested in um, gaming and stuff like that. I, I like Grand Theft Auto 4. Yeah, that's, that's that my was game. it. That's, that was, that's, that's, the that's it. I that's, the, oh, that's my good comic George Bush. That is George Bush right there. Pixel, man. That's not Why are you? Wait, is he okay? Cody, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Cody. He's just, he's a little slow. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. Autistic or something. I, I, I don't know. Mm. I think it's attention the yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Mm. Stay tuned, folks. We gotta pay some bills. Mm. <laughs> Welcome back to the review segments of the show. Um, I have a very interesting product I'd like to share with you. It's a KVM switch. Now, a KVM switch is not a new product. It's uh, often been used commercially, but it's been made more affordable. So I guess everybody could have one. As the um, the small businessman, you know, who, people with studios, people with multi-platforms like Mac, PC, you want to be able to connect through both of them, but without having the clutter of two mice, two keyboards. Um, I mean, you want probably more than one monitor, <laughs> that's the fact. But the two, yeah, the two mice and the two keyboards definitely outdated, so you want to be able to share those platforms without sharing the load, if you get what I mean. A KVM switch, what it stands for, keyboard, video, mouse. So, if you follow me, I'll just take a, a short walk and show you exactly how we connect these. Okay, I'm back here with my KVM switch, keyboard, VGA port and mouse. Um, this one is a two PC connection, it comes with six feet of cable. So your PCs can be six feet apart from each other. And it's a basically simple connection. Like I say, it's keyboard, video and mouse. So, I have my cables with me right here. And first of all, you want to plug in your VGA, your video. Then you want to plug in your... Oh, this one, this one actually comes with audio. A lot of them don't come with it, but like I say, it's, um, it's technology in the works. It's tech in motion, definitely tech in motion. They started off with just sharing um, the keyboard and the mouse. Now they share sound, now they share USB ports, Firewire, DVI. You can get them to share almost anything. So, plug in my audio right here. Uh, Oops, made a mistake. And you don't want to make a mistake. You want to make sure you know exactly where your cables are because you'll end up doing it just like me. Okay. Your USB port. In. Okay, got it the wrong way. And your audio. Okay. Now we're just going to repeat the same process for the other PC. I'm going to go in here. Plug this up. Um... Okay, great, that's it, we're ready to go. This device is plug and play, it needs no drivers, needs no 
or it has its own driver. It doesn't come with any software. That's it, plug and play. Now we're ready to go see what that looks like. All right, this is the actual breakout box where your two pieces get connected. So what you want to do is get your VGA cable from your monitor, the one monitor, and you want to plug it in right here. So now that's done, okay. Now the first time I used this card, um, I couldn't get it to work properly. And the reason was I mistakenly put the mouse where the keyboard should be. So that could happen to you. If um, you, you realize your card isn't working properly, it's probably that as well. So when I plug our mouse in there, I'm just getting there, okay. And our keyboard in here as well. And that's it. And this is the setup for our KVM switch. So I'm now back here in front of my monitor. <laughs> and I could just toggle easily between my two computers simply by tapping the scroll lock twice. Wow. And I'm here. So once again, let me just elaborate. The KVM switch, the role of the KVM switch is to allow you to use one computer's resources fully while also being close to an alternative one. So we all, I mean, us, uh, like I said, us in the, um, the multimedia world, the audio engineers, the ed video editors, videographers, graphic designers, we all want to have our workstations dedicated to doing our work. At the same time, you want your, your regular PC for your office administration to connect your printer, to connect your, you know, your other devices, anything. So this has been my review, the KVM switch getting better and better each day. Stay tuned, lots more on Tech in Motion. And don't forget to check out our Tech in Motion publication. Lots of stuff in there. Hmm. I think I'll go check it out right now. I, I haven't I haven't really followed up with this issue. Yeah. Pretty nice.